All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The American is 29. The Brit is 30. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 216 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, and they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Nice stick with the right hand. I want to see that left hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
can't take many of those, you better check. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, that body kick was there earlier, really. not there on that attempt. Big punch lands. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving the shit into his opponent's thigh. He beat his leg up. And there comes the separation now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice kick with the right hand. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus fence in his opponent. Shut the liver down. Nice stick with the right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Joshua gets the tie clinch here. Big punch land in the middle. Just missing on the high kick there. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Boom! All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Joshua's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I had time grabbing a kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses with the straight right. That's a big strike right there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 20 seconds left. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Wow. Five minutes in the books. His kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the really? making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Very tricky to throw that body kick. He 
You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, head kick blocked by Anthony Joshua. Beautiful straight counter. Just missed with the left there. They separate. Back and forth we go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Left hand punch from the clinch. Unable to connect there. Single collar tie now. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just over three minutes to go now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Hollow tie there. Big kick land. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, oh straight right. Lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Slips that left hand. Just missed with the straight left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. He's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. The bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Just missed with the leg kick. Horn sounds on round two. Alright, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. 
Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, nice. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. All right, single collar tie now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is. Catches the All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action and it worked in this instance. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Joshua. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to it's starting to elevate because he knows. Good one. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Blocks the shot. Nice stick with the right hand. goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Oh! Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Man, how good is his right hook count? to Southpaw. Back to the feet. <laughs> Just out of range with that right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good punch land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab. Oh! oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! And just misses with that big right hand. Back and forth we go here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high 
blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Anthony Joshua. Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt bad. Seconds winding down in round three. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice straight punch. Very nice leg kick there by H. Hook shot lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Anthony Joshua. Right hook to the body. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Swing and a miss with that punch by Anthony. Right there, his opponent's wobble check. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Ooh, what a punch. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Able to check that kick as well. Circling to his right. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Big knee to the body. And they separate. Oh! Well, oh, he's out! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's rewrite the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second from round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.